Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related content. So, if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, I'm going to be configuring basic Wi-Fi services for a new client's home deployment. All right, guys, in the last video, we set up an Edge Router X SFP for a new client deployment. We set up the main network, a VLAN, guest firewall rules, DNAT rules for Tableau remote access, as well as some best practices. If you happen to miss that video, I'll put a link to that video up above. Today, we're going to set up the basic Wi Fi services in the Unify controller. It's a Digital Ocean Unify controller. So if you're interested in spinning up your own Digital Ocean controller or virtual machine, I have a referral link down in the video description below. So the first thing I have to do to get started is create the new site for the new client. Once the new site's created, I'll just set the networks, create the wireless networks, and then I'm also going to create a user group for the guests so that I can limit their internet bandwidth. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's get started. So to create the new site, we're gonna, I'm in my settings. I'm in my Unify controller. I'm on the settings screen. I'm going to come up to where it says current site and then just simply click the drop down menu and select add new site. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to call this new site um, new client Allen. I could change this off screen after the video is over. But for now, I'm going to call it new site Allen and say submit. And it brings us back up to the dashboard. And I'm just going to go back down to the settings. And we're back on the settings now for new site Allen, and I'm going to just change some preferences. So we're going to change the time zone to New York. There we go. I'm going to disable the uplink connectivity monitor, and then I'm just going to set the provider capability. So I know for a fact that new site Allen has 150 meg symmetrical internet service. So I'm just going to place that in both of these locations here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is change the SSH device authentication credentials to match what I use across all the sites on the Unify controller. We're going to go ahead and say apply changes. Okay. So the site changes have been applied. The next thing I want to do is set the network. So we'll come up to the blue menu and select networks. And it already creates, it already has a corporate LAN. We're just going to edit this. Even though we're not using a Unify controller, I do like to, for the sake of uh, matching everything in, in simplicity's sake, I, I created a 192.168.100.1 uh, network on the edge router. So I just, for me, in, in my mind, I like to know that things are the same, even though, like I said, we're not using a USG. And for that matter, none of the DHCP settings here have to be uh, really altered because again, the DHCP services are coming from the edge router. That being said, we're going to go ahead and say save. And now I'm going to create a new network, a second network for the guest VLAN. So if you remember, we created VLAN 20 in the edge router for the guest network. So we just have to let Unify know that there is going to be um, a guest network, a VLAN with that ID tag of 20. So we're going to click on create new network and I'm going to call it guest network. And then it's going to be a VLAN only. And in the VLAN box here, I'm just going to put the VLAN tag of 20 and then we're going to go ahead and say save. And that's all there is to that. Next want to do is just go into the wireless networks and create two SSIDs. So the first one I'm going to create here, I'm going to use the same exact SSID name and password that's already set up in the client's house on the system that we're replacing. This way, by doing that, any devices and special kinds of setups like Sonos uh, players and things like that, that have already been connected to their network should automatically connect when we set up the, the Unify Wi-Fi. So that being said, I'm going to click on create new wireless network. I'm going to give it a name and this is the actual name of new client Allen's existing network. So it's one, two, threes, Wi-Fi network. 
we're going to give it a password and excuse me i just have to look up his password okay got it okay and we're going to go ahead and say save so that's it for that Wi-Fi network. Now for the guest Wi-Fi. So I'm going to create a new wireless network. And I'm going to call this 123's guest Wi-Fi. And it's going to have a password. And he did give me a password for that too. And that would be... And then we're also going to say apply guest policies and then say we're going to go into the advanced options and then what we're going to do here is we're going to under the VLAN section we're going to use VLAN and we're going to tag that with VLAN 20 that we created in the edge router so this way when wireless clients connect to this guest network they'll receive an IP address on the uh, guest VLAN there we go and that's saved. The next thing that needs to be done is to create the user group for the guests to throttle down and limit the bandwidth. So let's come over to the menu and click on user groups. And then under create new user group, we'll select that. And we'll give this a name and I'll just call this guests. And then we're gonna limit the bandwidth on the download and the upload. So I'll enable both of those. And we'll just make sure we change this the megabits and then we're just going to put in 10 megabits download and 2 megabits upload that's fine we're going to go ahead and click on save now that we have that group created we have to go back and link that group with the guest wi-fi that we created in that last step so we'll come back up to wireless networks we're going to click on 123's guest wi-fi you can see the vlan tag there for the guest Wi-Fi, we're going to click on the edit button and then we're just going to come down to where it says user group and change it from default to guests and then go ahead and say save. And now when a wireless user connects to 123's guest network, they'll automatically be part of the VLAN and they should be limited to 10 megabits down and 2 megabits upload. Okay, so now that all the basic setup has been done, you can see here I have the devices adopted to the Unify controller to New Client Allen site. I have the US 860 watt switch, a UAP AC Pro that we're gonna use on the first floor and a UAP AC Lite that we're gonna use on the second floor. Now, I purposely did the adoption of these devices off camera so that I can keep the video uh, a little shorter than the video I did on the edge router that was almost a 30 minute video and I didn't want to get into that again with this video so I did the adoption process offline and I have videos in the past that I've done that show how to adopt the US 860 watt how to adopt an AP Pro how to adopt an AP Lite etc so I'll put all the links to those videos if you want to see how that's done down in the video description below also, another reason why I'm glad I did it off-site was the UAP AC Pro and the UAP AC Lite had such an old firmware version that even though I sent the um, set inform command so that the controller would recognize the devices, they were not showing up because of the old firmware. So I had to do a manual uh, firmware upgrade using SSH. And again, if you want to know how to do that, I have videos on how to manually update the device firmware using SSH on a Windows platform as well as on the Mac platform using the terminal app. I'll put the link to those two videos also down in the video description below. So there you have it guys. If you liked this video, found it helpful, and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. You can help out the channel by remembering to subscribe, give the video a like if you haven't already, and share the video and remember to use those amazon affiliate links down in the video description below i know they don't change your price but they do help out the channel 
My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.